What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel. Today I am doing a review of this odd little horror exploitation cult film, if you want to call it that, from the early 70s starring Bill Shatner and that is Impulse. So this is released from Grindhouse Releasing. I got this in uh, to review through MVD Entertainment. And uh, yeah, I, I showed this one off, I believe, in an episode of Physical Media Lives, I think episode two a few weeks ago. I actually got this one in very early. Um, but I was definitely interested in checking this one out. And check it out, I did last night. And I went through some of the bonus features, and I'm like, damn, there's really a lot to talk about uh, with this release. Like I said, starring the great William Shatner and uh, directed by William Greffy who I believe used to make a lot of like swamp cult horror films um, in the 60s. And I think there's an entire box set dedicated to him and his filmography from Arrow Video, and it's called It Came From The Swamp, I believe. He actually references that um, in one of the special features on here. Um, but really a lot of stuff in this release, guys, to talk about. So look, without further ado, I don't want this review to be like super long. Of course, guys, I can't review any of the James Cameron titles this week. So we're diving into some of my back catalog, uh, some stuff that I should have been reviewing, uh, but haven't got a chance to yet. But uh, look, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We, we talk about physical media here, Blu-rays, 4Ks, owning the movies that you love, all that stuff there behind me. And uh, also, you know, hit the like button and also comment down below if you've seen Impulse. I believe this came out in 1974, starring, of course, William Shatner. Look at that face, guys. This was before Halloween. William Shatner was playing a serial killer in a movie before Halloween came out, before they used his face to make a white mask of Michael Myers. So the, the, I wonder if that's why they did that. Maybe that's why they did that, because they were referencing Impulse um, in the original Halloween. Crazy that this movie came out then, though, in 1974. This was, like, at the peak of Shatner's, like, Star Trek fame. So, kind of crazy that he went off and made a film like this in between, um, you know, episodes of Star Trek, which they actually have a whole feature talking about that. But we'll get to it. Um, so, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's talk about this movie real quick, guys. It's it's a batshit insane movie from start to finish it's just one one at what the f moment like after the other like and it just never <laughs> lets up i feel like which makes for a very entertaining movie but the movie like nothing about it like really makes sense from a narrative perspective and it really is just all William Shatner's performance that really carries this movie uh, to the finish line and it makes it so entertaining. So you have this character of Matt Stone who is uh, played um, by William Shatner and he's a businessman but he's also a ladies man as well and he gets involved with several ladies throughout this film and and he tortures and kills them in, in several of the encounters as well. So he's a little bit psychotic. And this all stems from a childhood trauma. His mom had an encounter with a man that came over and to have sex with her. And that got a little rough. And then he killed him uh, with a katana sword. So that childhood trauma just kind of translates into adulthood. And he's like, hey, I killed this guy that was, you know, trying to abuse my mom sexually with a katana sword. Um, so I'm going to take that with me and then I'm going to be the abuser and kill women. Does that make any sense? I don't know if it, if it does. Um, but that's the setup to the movie. So he meets this woman. Uh, she's got a daughter who's suspicious of him because he ran over a dog with her in the car with him earlier in the film. And she knows he's not a good guy. And uh, she's got a best friend that's trying to set them up. And it's really, it's kind of a romance. It's kind of a romance. But there's just all of these just, ran what feels like random encounters. There's, uh, you know, Karate Pete, I, I think is his name, uh, that he's dealing with. And um, I, I think that was actually like one of the Bond villains or something, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think is, is what they said in one of the special features. It's just one like series of random encounter encounters after another. And it's completely wild, but William Shatner is absolutely fantastic in this movie. He is totally committed uh, to his performance. And it's a pretty cool, interesting, you know, little little cult horror film for sure. I, I would definitely call this a horror film. And William Shatner, guys, playing a psychotic killer. It has to be seen 
to be believed. So, and I feel like Shatner did some other horror movies um, as well. Maybe you can call those out in the comment section, but I don't feel like this was the only time he was in the horror genre. I feel like there were some other moments he was in the horror genre. Uh, but let's get into the actual, uh, you know, presentation of this Blu-ray right here. This is a Blu-ray uh, with a 4K scan. Now, they couldn't, they actually put a disclaimer before you start watching this movie that they did not, they could not get a hold of the original camera negative that was destroyed or was lost. They couldn't find it. So what they did is they just got a 35 millimeter release print and did the 4K scan on that to restore this film. And you know what? It, it looks a little rough. It doesn't look spectacular in its pre presentation but I mean the movie was in 1974 and usually 70s movies tend to look a little rougher a little grittier and this definitely falls into that as well um, but I thought it was a nice presentation I thought it looked pretty good for the most part and I trust that Grindhouse did what they could to properly restore this I, I think it probably definitely looks the best that it ever has. I don't imagine Impulse has ever looked better. And I don't, I don't, I know this was the first time this was on Blu ray. I don't know if it ever got um, a DVD release before. But uh, yeah, Impulse, it, it's not a great Blu ray. The presentation doesn't look spectacular, but. It's serviceable enough. It gets the job done for sure. So getting into the sound, you got a DTS HD uh, Master Audio 2.0. Uh, you got uh, both English and French on that. And, you know, the audio sounded good. It was nice and clean and crisp. And I didn't really notice too many issues uh, with the audio. You could hear all of, uh, you know, William Shatner's insane dialogue came through very nice with the audio. So I appreciated that. And we'll do a little unboxing real quick. The artwork on the cover just really has, I feel like every single what the F moment in this movie. <laughs> Look at that guy down there. Um, they really did a good job with this artwork. Like it's, it's great artwork and it just perfectly displays like what this movie is. It's just insane all the way through start to finish. So I think they did a good job on that artwork. And then on the back right here, you have some some images from the film. You got uh, the synopsis, some some quotes at the top, the special features down here, which this doesn't even scratch the surface of what's in this set. Like they really sold this set short. I, I looked on Blu-ray.com and the press release for it, and they didn't list all of the special features that are in this. Like. It's really insane, the amount of special features that is in this release. But let's take it out of the uh, slip box. This is a side-loading slip box, which is definitely pretty cool. And right here, we got the cover. This is uh, probably the original poster of the movie. And I'll zoom in again so you guys can see you know, the back, and we'll open this up. There is reversible cover art, uh, so I will flip that. And all you do, all it does is um, you know, show the original not the original, but the newly commissioned artwork from Grindhouse Releasing. So all the same stuff. I think that might be uh, different images on the back when you flip it around. I could be wrong. You open it up and uh, we got some disc art. This is a two disc set. I got one of the discs in the player back there, but this is a two disc set. The first disc um, has the movie and it also has a number of the bonus features. And then this disc is just all bonus features. Um, so, and then we got a card with Bill Shatner on it, which is pretty cool. And then we got a a nice little booklet on the inside right here. And I think this actually goes through some of the director's filmography, maybe. Um, or maybe some movies that this was inspired by, but just some nice writings on the movie. It's nice that they included that. Uh, for sure in there. So really good presentation on this box set. But let's go ahead and dive into the special features, guys, because like I said, it is really insane what they included here. 15 hours of special features. Now, not all of it is new special features. A lot of it is archival stuff, but I imagine a lot of it is never before uh, seen on disc. It's its first time on an actual disc. So it may be old stuff, but it's never been put out on a release before. At least I would imagine it hasn't because there's just some insane stuff on here that I've never seen on any release before. Um, so let's get into it. On the first disc, of course, like I said, you got the movie, but you also have two extra films from the director, which are listed, um, you know, on the on Blu-ray.com. And you look this up, you can see the two films in parentheses, which I didn't realize before I got into this. But you have two bonus films here from the director, The Devil's Sisters 
and the Godmothers. Now, these are in standard definition, and they do not look great. I checked out the first five minutes of both, um, but I may watch them someday, and it's cool to have those in the collection, just extra movies from this director having some of his movies, um, his movies from his filmography in this collection, I think is super cool. Um, you also have a making of uh, featurette here that's about, I, I think it's like 15 or, or 16 minutes or something like that, but it's a good making of feature. I did watch that one. But then uh, going to disc two, guys, on disc two, you have uh, a great interviews from the director. There's a interview with the director, William uh, Griffay, I think is how you pronounce it. That's like a an hour and 20 minutes long. It's insane. But there's several interviews with him and other people that were involved in the making of this film. And I didn't watch every single one, but there's just a lot of stuff to dig into here with that. You also have film seminars with the director. So he actually gives you like insider info on how to make movies and there's like five hours worth of these seminars maybe like five and a half hours it was three parts and one of them was well over two hours so it's just the filmmaker speaking on movie making and how to make movies and just basically giving you a class on filmmaking which could be beneficial for somebody that wants to get into filmmaking. So I thought that that was pretty cool. You also get four short films from the director as well. So you get two of his feature films and you also get four of his short films. Um, there's a feature on the other Shatner projects from the uh, 70s other than Star Trek. So they really go into the stuff that Shatner was doing in the 70s besides Star Trek, including this film. And it's called Between the Trek. So it's almost like a documentary on that specific part of William Shatner's career. There's tons of archival stuff, guys. There's even a feature with Lauren Bacall, who I just watched in The Shootist, where she's just talking about old Hollywood features. Um, so tons of that kind of stuff. There's still galleries. There's tons of Grindhouse previews. There's like 15 or 20 just like random grindhouse previews um it's just insane guys there is so much in this set like there is so much value here that it is not even funny so this release like even if you don't love the movie, like the value is there. If you're interested in this type of stuff, like interviews, and there's also a good amount of commentaries as well. I think at least two or three commentaries um, are in this release. So there's just a ton of stuff uh, to dig into here, guys. And the value in this set is just absolutely insane, considering the price of this is $35.33. So for 35 bucks, you get this movie and you get 15 hours of special features, which I, which I just think is insane for a release. But Impulse by Grindhouse Releasing, I have to give this one a recommendation just because of all the value that they include here um, in this. And I do think that if you're into these type of movies, these more like cult uh, films from the 70s, horror films, um, I, I don't know if you would call them exploitation. They definitely teeter on that line. This movie definitely teeters on that line. I don't know if it would fully go into exploitation or not. Uh, but it rides that line. But if you like films like that, guys, these like grindhouse style films, I think you will enjoy Impulse. I think you'll get a kick out of it for sure, if only for William Shatner's insane performance. But thank you all for watching my review of Impulse. I will link it down below in the description, the Amazon link. If you are interested, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, turn on bell notifications, and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description and we'll see you next time.